Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a giraffe. So a giraffe's head, we're on a landscape page, use a pencil, hit pause when I go too fast. And we're gonna start, straight away we're gonna go up to the top of our page and we're gonna start with those antlers slash horns that giraffes have right at the top, right? So two bumps, right? So, and they're kind of like bumpy round right at the top. So I'm like right along the middle line, right? So the middle of the giraffe's face will go through the center line, right? So on this side, we have one of those bumps, right? Just kind of a bumpy thing here. Okay, same on this side. So you do another one that's pretty much the same sort of shape. Can be bumpy line, doesn't have to be straight or anything, right? Like that. And they curve outwards and in, right? So we're gonna go Boom, like that, and then similar thing on this side, like so. Okay, and then the middle of those, so we're gonna bring it in, like so. Curve it in, and around to there. And there could be like a line just for a sort of a dark sort of section just here on top. Sometimes they have a bump or a darker sort of black section just here on the top. So you could just do some sort of line there, anything you wanted really. Okay, so these antlers come down to the side of the head and around to the eyes, right? So we're gonna curve this. So we're gonna curve it out like so that and this side will do pretty much the same thing curving out like that like so and then we curve around sort of his eye right so the socket the eye socket so it kind of curves around the top here like that first okay like a bump and then we do that on this side as well Curves down like so. Like, and don't worry if they're not like 100% even or anything. Like, things in nature are rarely 100% um, symmetrical. So, you just want them to be like average, sort of symmetrical on both sides. <clears throat> and in here, then we have the eyelashes and the eye and stuff, right? So, giraffes have surprisingly pretty big eyelashes, right? So, like, it kind of sticks out past the brow here and then kind of curves around. So it's like, this is the eyelash area. And it curves out and around to here. So like most of the eye, the, gir the giraffe's eye is black as well. So this line kind of tends to disappear. So we have a curved line there. And then we have the actual eyeball, right? So it like curves around here. And goes in around underneath the eye there. Okay. So you can pretty much do the same thing on this side as well. So like eyelashes, pointy, and then like curves it down into here. And you can like thicken up this. Like so. And then draw your eyeball. So like a round sort of circular shape. Like so. And then, so we're gonna, I'm gonna color this in dark black, right? But you can you can leave sections, sort of highlights and shines and stuff like that, right? So say like, you just leave like a white circle there and maybe a more curvatured sort of section here on the, on the side. 
like this kind of thing. Okay. And if you do that on this eye, you'd want to sort of do something kind of similar on the other eye, you know, so a similar sort of setup. Like that and then color it in dark. Okay, so then underneath the eyes, we have like eyelid lines and dark sort of sections underneath, right? So we have sort of a line coming around here. Like so. And then a dark sort of black bagged sort of area, like a, a V just down here, right? And this is mostly dark inside as well. It's like eyeshadow or something <laughs> underneath the eye. Similar on this side. And a dark sort of V-like circular section just here. Okay, that's what we're going for. like so so we'll keep going then down the side of the face so around here we could have sort of a curved line just underneath the eye there for the sort of eye socket and then the jaw will come down the side right real sort of straight down like so okay and then it sort of curves in towards the snout, just there. And then we do the same thing on the other side. And at about the same point, you're gonna curve it in. Okay, and like, in terms of proportion, so like from the eye to that, jaw point is about the same from the eye to the top of the head. So like the top of the head here. So say from here to the middle point of the head, here to here is about the same as here to maybe where the nose would be, do you know? So you want the eyes to be about halfway between here and here. It's approximate, not exact, you know, but just between here and here where the nose is. Then speaking of the nose, so it's part of a snout in animals like this. So giraffes have like a big sort of lip, kind of like a camel, you know? So it kind of curves around, comes down there. The other side curving as well. Like it, it, they don't have to be the same on both sides, you know? So and sometimes it's better if they're not, it looks more realistic. So that one can stick out a bit more. If you want, if you're a stickler for symmetrical creatures go for it but I like a bit of difference on both sides more realistic and then the bottom lip just underneath that coming down like so coming down like so underneath the mouth and then go back up Like so. Okay, so nostrils, right? So just, just here beside this part, we have the nostril point. So it's like an unusual sort of shape. It's like pointy on top, like that, and curves around into here. It's like, it reminds me of like um, a candle flame, you know, that kind of shape. Add some hatching if you wanted. Right, do the same thing over this side. Like so. 
maybe just thicken up this line to put a bit of a shadow underneath here. So this is like, you're just increasing the line weight. You're just making this line thicker just to maybe make it appear like there's a bit of a shadow down there. Right, so then around his nose, there's like a sort of a light kind of skin area. It just like goes around the nostrils, right? And it's like, like kind of like a broken sort of line. It's not exactly like a, a full formed area. So it's like this kind of thing going on. It's kind of light sketchy lines. could be some lines just coming down towards the mouth a little bit down to there right so then the snout itself so it comes out from the side of the nose comes out like so kind of goes in this way a little bit same on this side comes out and in you know could have some hatching and stuff every now and then just to show he's a bit furry. Maybe like a line down the middle. Like so, and then some like bridge of the nose sort of area coming up in here. Again, some light kind of lines like that. And maybe a line going up into the, towards the corner of his eye, just like a light sort of sketchy line like that. Nothing major. And then maybe some more lines coming up underneath his eye just there, like eye lines and texture lines and stuff. And he's got sort of a, like a heavy brow sort of curving around here as well. So it's like it curves around like this kind of thing. It comes up around. And then same on this side. So sketching just lightly going around the sides here. And a bit of an eyelid line as well going up over here. Sort of a heavy kind of line. So like curves up this way. And goes down like that kind of thing. Maybe there. And something similar on this side. Adding some more texture just in here, like skin sort of lines that seem to fold around this eyebrow, like so. And again, maybe some lines going up towards the middle of his head here. Something coming down the center. And just suggesting shapes. That's all you're trying to do. And then, so he's got like spots and stuff on his face, right? So like down here, they're mostly on the jaw and the neck. So like one there, one there, up here. And you know, don't worry if your shapes aren't the same as mine or anything. You're just looking for this sort of box like sort of design this kind of pattern and if you're keep if you are keeping it as a black a line drawing you can color them in black or um, you could do them dark brown you know it's totally up to you really 
And there's some up here as well, some dark sort of spots in here. Um, I'm fighting with myself as whether, whether or not to actually color them in black just to see what they kind of look like. What I'll do his ears first, I'll think about it. So the ears, just up here, they come out from his sort of brow area, right? So let me, let me stick out real big. Curves up and around here. He comes out to a point out here. I think he needs another, sorry Andy, I think he needs another spot or something there on that side. All right, so back to the ear. So this comes down. So, and curves all the way into the eyebrow. So, curves all the way in through there. Like that's so real big ears. And then we have sort of a hair like section just in here. Like so. And then there's like a dark black section inside here, right? So it's it's kind of like a spot, but not fully like a spot. It's like just it's like a shadow or something. And there's a line around the side. And maybe a line going up here too. So I'm just gonna color this in black. Okay, so we'll do pretty much that same thing over here. So we kind of curve it up. And like that. And then it goes back into there. And we do that hair sort of line section again, like a hairy zigzag area. And a sort of a line coming up around the edge, maybe something similar coming down here. And then a dark black shadowy area just in here. That kind of thing. Okay, so neck, real big long neck. You go diagonal this way on that side. And then coming down from the, say the side of his mouth here as well on this side. Down off my page. A few more room, make it as long as you'd like. Go for it. Um, and then he has more of those cow-like um, spots, right? So say, this kind of thing coming down and yeah so you're just trying to like fill the patterns like so another one say here so there's no real rhyme or reason to these it's just you're thinking cow that's what you're thinking you're thinking like cow spots. And of course, I think in real life they're brown, not black. So I think I will, although it is a, a black line drawing. Oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, right, so there's hair, sort of spiking hair coming down here. You can only see a little bit of it, but then suddenly, a bit more. Going down that way. Um, might be a few more spots on his face, on the sides here. On his nose, but not that many. I 
think I'll leave it here, you know. Okay, that's it. How to draw a giraffe. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys, as usual. I'll see you in the next video.